हेलो एवरीवन होप यू आर सेफ आई एम आर हरी चंद्रावत ऑफ क्लास टेंथ है प्रेजेंटिंग बिफोर यू एन एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑन द चैप्टर टू ऑफ ज्योग्राफी फॉरेस्ट एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ रिसोर्सेज सो टुडे वी विल लर्न इंट्रोडक्शन टू द चैप्टर फ्लोरा एंड फॉन एंड इंडिया क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ स्पीसीज एंड कॉजेज ऑफ डिप्लीशन ऑफ फ्लोरा एंड फोना so let's begin we share this entire planet with millions of other living organisms starting from microorganism bacteria lichens to banyan tree hummingbird to ostrich elephants and blue whale and so more and this entire habitat that we live in has immense biodiversity now let's see flora and fauna in india flora are the plants found in a particular region and fauna are the animals found in a particular region india is one of the world's richest country in terms of its vast array of biological diversity and nearly 8% of the total species in the world at least 10% of india's recorded wild flora and 20% of its mammals are in threatened list due to anthropogenic activities means human activities many of this will now categorized as critical which are on verge of extinction like cheetah pink headed duck mountain quail forest spotted owlet and so more classifications of animals and plants based on IUCN International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources We can classify them as follows Normal species rare species vulnerable species endemic species endangered species and extinct species So now let's see them as briefly species whose population level is considered to be normal for their survival is known as normal species for example rodents cattle sal pine vulnerable species the species whose population is likely to decline and in future if it, the negative factor will continue then it is likely to move into endangered species in future for example asiatic elephant and blue shell rare species species with small population may move into vulnerable or endangered category in future if negative factor will affect them continue for example hornbill desert fox himalaya brown bear endemic species the species which found in a particular region usually isolated by natural or geographical barriers for example andaman tree nicoba pigeon wild pig endangered species species which are danger of extinction are known as endangered species survival of such species are difficult if the negative factor will continue affecting their population for example indian rhino black buck indian wild ass and so on extinct species the species which are no longer exist in the world is known as extinct species for example pink headed duck asiatic cheetah and so on so Let's see causes of depletion of flora and fauna. What are the negative factors that cause such fearful depletion of the flora and fauna? Excessive consumption of natural resources for fulfilling human needs such as wood, bark, leaf, rubber, medicines and etc. the expansion of railway agriculture commercial and scientific forestry and mining activities large scale development of projects and mining activities 
unequal access of inequality consumption of resources and differential sharing of responsibility for environmental well-being